Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm Star Lord, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys where you can get the awesome legendary Pokemon Victini in Pokemon Brick Bronze. This is probably one of the fastest guides I've seen yet for this video, and uh, I do hope that it helps you guys. And if it does, please remember to leave a like, go and check out my other content as I do giveaway guides, all that kind of stuff on Pokemon Brick Bronze. So the first thing we want to do, guys, is go to the very top of the map in Aradia City. That is the little sandy place. We also want to make sure that we have a Pokemon that knows Rock Smash, as we will need it later. And we also need to make sure that we have some sort of repels. I got some max repels and I got 10 of them. That worked perfectly. I used all 10 of them and I was still able to get out. Now we want to just go to the old abandoned kind of ruins or temple. And once we're inside, you will see at the very back of the room, there is a huge statue of a prince just standing there. What we need to do is click the little bottom hole on the little statue, and you will place the red jewel that you got from beating the fifth gym leader. So if you haven't yet beat the fifth gym leader, guys, make sure you do that. Come back to this guide. So once we've rock smashed there, we want to go up these stairs to the left hand side. Now once we're in here, we just want to head all the way down and turn left. You will see a lot of this hallway, by the way. So yeah, be prepared to keep on backtracking on yourself because there's so much walking forward, backwards. It's crazy. Go down these stairs, turn right, and then we will be in a little bit of a different room. And um, yeah, you should see that it has like a blue line with a red, a green, and a purple kind of thing on it. Right now, for the part of the guide that we're on, we need to go through this door right in front of us, which is the red jewel door. So there you go. Just go right on through. And once we're inside, this is where we will need the Pokemon that knows how to use Rock Smash. We want to just follow me right over to this specific rock right here next to the pillar. And we want to use Rock Smash. Now, once it does that, you will see that all of the sand kind of falls down that hole. And there is the green jewel. You're one step closer to getting your new Victini. And uh, if any of you guys plan to do a shiny Victini hunt, please comment down below. I would actually like to see how many people try and get that, that, little, uh, that little dude. Uh, so now that we're out of there, guys, we just go back on ourselves. Like I said, there's just so much going back and forth on this guide. So I'm sorry if it does sound repetitive, uh, but I'm trying the best I can. And uh, I just want to be able to help you guys. And if it does, then I am pretty happy. Okay, so we're back down the hallway, we've just exited, and we go back down here, and here is where the main hallway is, with the huge statue of the prince. Now, I would like to say, if this is a little bit fast for any of you guys, just pause the video at certain parts, do the little part, and then continue on. So now that we've placed the second jewel in his statue, we go back the way we came, guys. Like I said, very, very repetitive. And, um, yeah... The next part of the puzzle is extremely hard and what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk and introduce you guys to it, tell you what you have to do and then I will cut off my face cam and then bring it back once I've actually completed that part of the guide. So here is the green door, it's now open, we can go on through and actually uh, participate in the hardest part of this guide. So basically what you want to do guys is make sure you pause the video and watch it very slowly at which little bricks I'm pressing. So I'm going to cut off my face cam now. Just watch this very, very closely, guys.
Okay, now I'm sorry if that was slowing down a little bit too much, but I just wanted to make sure that all of you guys got this correctly because a lot of people fail it. Once you've actually done the last part of it, guys, you will see the purple jewel fall on the floor. Again, I'm just going to use a max repel here. And uh, now we have to go back to the main entrance in which we first entered put, to put that purple jewel where it belongs to the prince. So, we're him. yeah, we're going to do that right now. Go right at the circular kind of blue line thing that's like all over the place. Here we need to go back up here and uh, continue on through. And uh, like I said, guys, I would like to just take a moment to say that if you are new to the channel, you've never seen my content before. I'm a new Roblox Pokemon Brick Bronze YouTuber. I've actually only started a week, week ago. And uh, yeah, I've got like 120,000 subscribers. I do a lot of guides, glitches, uh, videos, tutorials, and uh, I'm also doing giveaways too. So make sure that you subscribe. Do not miss out. Now we've put the purple jewel in, we want to go back the way we came once again to the very last puzzle. Now, for the very last puzzle, I would recommend that you have a strong team of Pokemon as you will need to do a little bit of a battle. So, let's just... Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot I fell down there, but uh, it's okay. Let's just keep on going, keep on going, it's all good. Um, and now we take a right because we've got the purple jewel, now the purple door is open, you know? It's, it's, it's logic, guys. That's what happens when you put a purple jewel in the purple place. Um, so now that we're here, we're just gonna go over this little pillar right here. Just watch you don't fall down. I don't even know if you can, but watch you don't fall down. And do a little rock smash just right here. And there it is right there. And you will see that there is a, a, a torch in the corner of this little part of the map. Just pick it up. Go the way you came in the first place, go right over here, and you will see a little bit of a, I guess it's a bit of wood with a rope attached. Just click it, it will burn down, and this col column will fall down, I'm sorry. Uh, once we've done that, just walk up the column, guys, turn right, and then just go down. And uh, here is the, the mummy's tomb. We need to get the last jewel out of here. So make sure that you click on the actual coffin itself. And uh, there it is, guys. There is the very last jewel. We just head back down. But wait! There is more! This, this mysterious mummy wants the battles. And that's what we're going to have to do. And uh, I'm going to admit, I thought this was pretty cool that Lando and uh, the other developers actually added this in. I was like, ooh, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, guys, just kill them as quick as you can uh, so that we can get to our awesome new shiny legendary. I hope that you guys are hunting for a legendary shiny. I mean, I would like to know if you are hunting for the shiny version of him. Then uh, let me know in the comments. I am very, very like, um, I'm very optimistic when people try and hunt shiny legends. So uh, I wish you luck if you are hunting for a shiny Victini. Now we just exit the way we came, like I said guys, go left once again uh, at the little circular kind of blue line and uh, for one of the last times we're in this hallway right here and we need to come back here one more time and that is it guys, we're then done with this hallway forever unless you want to catch a shiny Zora which is just impossible at the minute, <laughs> but Rock Splash, uh, the last part, go to the jewel and put it in. The blue jewel will then make a little bit of a rocking kind of motion and uh, we just head back up to this little hallway once again and you will see that on the right hand side there is an entrance that is now open and this is the tomb of Victini. Now when you go inside here you will find a little bit of loot. There's lots of gold everywhere. I don't know why he doesn't just pick up the gold. Why does he just pick up a gold nugget? You can get gold nuggets from McDonald's so why don't you just grab the gold? Dude, what's going on? Um, but right there you can see in the far right hand corner, there is a awesome painting of shiny Victini and uh, that is where he lies. He lies in this little tomb right here. So what we do guys is just walk over to it. I'm very quickly going to save because I'm actually going to be hunting for a shiny Victini. So make sure that you don't miss that on my channel and just click on the tomb. 
And there you go, he arises, and you will now be able to battle him, capture him, whatever you want to do to him, slap him about a bit, a little bit, whatever you want to do, guys. It's, it's, it's your Pokemon from now on, anyway. Him. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's guide. I do hope that it wasn't too confusing or anything like that, or too fast. And uh, if you did enjoy it and it did help you, then please remember to comment down below, like the video, and go and check out my other content. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya!